I, I just want to do a really, really brief thank you. And I say thank you before I tell you what I'm saying thank you for. Don't judge my nails hair color. Y'all see what's happening here. Y'all like that. All types of bronze and gold going on. Anyway, fall colors at the bottom and summer at the top. We right in the middle. So listen, I want to say thank you to all the mothers first who got up this morning before the sun came up. Maybe just to do the text or just have a moment to yourself just to think. And then got your kids up. Again, the sun's not even up yet. And you're a lot you're already mothering and nurturing and making lunches possibly and making sure that rechecking homework or what or doing I trust me, I, I remember what it was like to be a working mom and I still do those things now for my youngest. So I, I mean I I know what it is, right? That's before the sun even come up. Then you get in your car and you're driving to work and you might be tired because maybe you didn't sleep so well last night. So let's keep it funky. Maybe the rent and the mortgage is due and you ain't got all of it. Or whatever the situation is. Everybody has problems. Maybe the doctor called you. Maybe you had some blood work taken and... We all know when you get blood work taken or any type of test and they call you before you can make it home and he left you a message and now you're pacing to call him back. It's life, right? We live in a system of things. We're imperfect. But it doesn't stop you from being a good mom. When your baby comes over and says, Mommy, you go, yes, dear. You're still a good mom. You still are being pleasant. You're not taking an hour on your kids. I salute you. I say what well, job well done. Because a lot of times, a lot of those mothers, especially single moms, they don't get thank yous the way. Because kids, it's all they know when they're young. They just think that this is how life is and they don't really understand all that you're sacrificing until they begin to sacrifice it themselves. So no one's told you thank you. Because right now you probably is you probably are sitting in the traffic and about to go home and cook dinner and start the whole thing all over again. And it's a cycle that doesn't stop. But let me say this. It is a role. It's the most rewarding job that I have ever had. I love being a mother. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm holding on to it as much as I can. I love being a mother. I love being a wife. Is it always easy? No, it's not. I don't care how many Luther Vandross songs I put up about being married. Marriage is work. And the only way you're going to enjoy it is if you put the work in. The only way you're going to enjoy being a mother is if you put the work in. And we got to remember not to take out our any of our issues out on our kids. Excuse me, my throat is dry. Mm. They, don't, they don't deserve it. Um, and trust me, kids know when you're disciplining them because you got issues in your life and when you're disciplining them out of love because disciplining them when you're angry is not teaching. That's you getting off your own emotional thing. That's you passing on to them that energy. Anger and discipline does not go together. A lot of times that's how you, that's how you end up Really, that's how you end up abusing your children. Me personally, people ask me about my kids. I, I ironically, I had to talk about my kids last yet yesterday with a friend of mine, and she was giving me a compliment, and I really appreciated it because she is so kind 
she, she comes and picks up my daughter for field service and, I, and she has no idea how much I appreciate her because I trust her. You know, she's my youngest daughter and I trust her with my kids and she takes that time out, especially in the mornings when I'm not well. She'll come and get my daughter to take out and field service and it's nothing. We were talking. She was giving me a compliment and I was just, I said, I said, people typically think, not with my oldest daughter anymore, but I remember we would get a lot of comments. My husband and I, how often do you beat them to get them to be so good? And I said, that's just it. I don't believe in corporal punishment. That's my own belief. Now, if they deserved it, that's one thing. But my kids have never really gotten spankings, period. Um, I believe in reaching their heart because anybody can reach their behinds you want to reach their hearts you want them to have uh you want them to have and, and at three they have critical thinking trust me talk to a three-year-old now nowadays they have critical thinking at three they can say especially if you explain it very 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 basic if you explain to them, listen, if you do this, this will happen. Do you want that to happen to you? And I'll go, no. And he'll say, okay. You don't say, are you mad at me? And I'll say, I'm disappointed. And that's worse. They say, how long are you going to be disappointed in me? I used to love it. Just seeing that, I didn't love it. I didn't, I didn't enjoy that. But knowing that they care more, because all a beating is going to do is 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 teach them. Number one, violence. Number two, that when you get angry, you hit. Because a lot of times, when, when when what does it take to give somebody a spanking? Are you calm spanking the kids, or are you? What did I tell you? Look at the energy that they see. They're, remember, while you're doing that, your child is looking directly at you. Is that what you want your child to remember? That's a that that's a thought that's being played. Now they but if their butts deserve it, by all means, have at their butts. Now sometimes, look, some the Bible says, "Spare the rod, spoil the child." But if you can teach, if you can reach them. And teach them. That's the thing. Don't just spank the body, but teach the mind. And every child is different. So I'm not saying don't beat your kids. I'm saying be more based. Let it be more based on teaching than just wearing them out. But some kids, no matter what you do, I know a child right now that came up. Anyway, I know a child right now that you will say something to and she will go no I'm, no I'm not going to do that she's very young no and she's going to write on your furniture she's going to uh, take a a, 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 a a permanent marker write on your write on your carpet your cream carpet I have a, a living room and a family room and my living room is all cream furniture we don't really sit in there too much. But if I allowed her to, she would write all over it. And those types of kids, sometimes you have to mix. You have to mix in sometimes. Unfortunately, you might have to mix in corporal punishment in with us and with getting into their minds and figuring out. Because we don't want to break our kids' spirits. We want to love them. They're gifts from God. So figure out what's going on with them. And sometimes if they too if they too out there, maybe they need to see somebody. Some of some of them, especially sometimes this color right here, we like to go, oh, oh she's just bad. And she might have a mental disorder. I can't say. But it's better to get your kids checked out, especially if they're acting out. And then you have to ask yourself what's going on in your house. And what are your kids hearing you talk about? 
I just wanted to come in and say to all the mothers, no matter corporal punishment, not whatever, if you're trying to do your best and you're by yourself, because I don't know that life. I never have. I got married when I was 20. I had my first daughter when I was 23. I've never been a single mother. So I don't know that life, but I can imagine that it has to be difficult. So I say, I salute you and I say, I hope you guys, if, if nobody has said thank you, you're awesome, then I'm saying it. Thank you, you're awesome. And leave a comment, let's make a discussion about it. You disagree with me, let me hear you. Don't just, don't just thumbs down the video. Let me hear what you gotta say then. It's like, no. <laughs> leave, me a, leave me a comment. Let's make a discussion, mothers. And for you fathers out there, listen, y'all already know, especially if you are there with your kids day in and day out. And if you are a single father, words can't even, I, I can't even begin to put into words how proud I am of you. But listen, it's, after, it's 11 minutes, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you guys are having a great day and have it an even better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.